such a heavy hitter as the first challenger, the official challenger to the belt. Um, so I had to call it my guy, Michael Jordan. Got a little something special made up for tonight's <laughs> episode. Oh my God. Justin's secret stuff right there. You're now listening to the Wandering Buffalo podcast with your hosts, Andrew Chang and Justin Goddard. Hello and welcome to the Watering Buffalo Podcast, a show on the built-in Buffalo Network. My name is Andrew Chang and alongside me is my co-host Justin Goddard. Tonight, Justin has a contender for the belt. It's another trivia showdown episode. As always, you can find us on social media accounts. <laughs> He's got the belt right there ready to go. You can find us on social media, podcasting platforms, and even on YouTube by searching The Wandering Buffalo Podcast. You can also find other amazing shows and content by looking into the built-in Buffalo Network, which we are a part of. Let's break down some Bills-related news, but first, we do have a special guest on the show uh, tonight, Justin. It is Vince Taylor, the host of the Buffalo on the Brain with Vince Taylor, because he is Vince Taylor. <laughs> um, he also is on the Built-in Buffalo Network. Gentlemen, how are we doing tonight? I'm doing well. I am doing well. And I just want to say, I think I'm your biggest fan. Love you guys. Oh. Love the work you do. Uh, I try Thank to pump you. you out whenever I can, but tonight's different. Tonight, Ooh. I'm here for blood. Oh, so oh, Goddard, sheesh. you better armor up. <laughs> oh man, I know gloves are off. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna, he's, he's gonna make so nice. Monte Davis by the halfway through the show. <laughs> <laughs> I sure hope not. Oh man, but yeah. Uh, How are you doing tonight? Justin? All I can say is, you know, I'm the one with it in my hands right now, so I'm doing even better than Vince. Uh, he's got. The I belt. had a great weekend. I had a great day. I got the belt. Um, I actually got to go golfing this morning, which I haven't done in like about a year. Mm -hmm. I played terribly, but boy, was it fun to be out there. What do you think I shot? Nine or 18? 18. Terry Hills. 116. 120. Not bad. Oh. Oh. Anyways, uh, let's let's get to some more... uh, crazier news aka some bills related news first up the bills have released defensive tackle nazir jones so you know i already alluded to this in previous episodes that i thought this was going to happen anyway but he signed a one-year contract with the bills at the end of the mandatory minicamp and the deal was only worth eight hundred fifty thousand dollars eight hundred fifty hundred thousand none of it guaranteed so by cutting them, there's no dead cap, and it seems pretty cut and dry to me, gentlemen, right? Yeah, I'll let you lead yeah. off, Vince. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm having a hard time disagreeing with Andrew there. Um, you know, just camp body type person. I will say, though, I think that there is room on the roster for a dark house one tech, and that mm-hmm. could be Trayvon Hester. I think it could possibly be uh, Ellie and Cow. But uh, I, I think there is some room there for a one tech, maybe. Right. Yeah, and I kind of agree with both of you. Uh, Nazir was kind of a camp body that never really made it to the actual camp. Um, but as we look at the bodies that they're bringing in for the camp battles, we're seeing a lot of more bona fide one technique type players being brought in. Um, so it's it's definitely looking like that's a spot they want to share up and bring in competition and at the very least maybe be pushing Harrison Phillips. I think he could really be on, on the roster bubble. Ooh, that's a hot take right there. Mm. You know I want him on the team. <laughs> Availability right. matters. Absolutely. It's, and the, it's the, best avail- or the best ability. Yeah, and... Maybe maybe they just didn't see what they wanted out of Jones. Maybe he just had a effort kind of issue. Or maybe they they were hoping that he could become something and now something's actually out there that they want. Kind of reminds me of who was that offensive lineman who was converting to a tight end for the Bengals that we signed and then we cut like literally a week later because um 
oh my god, what's his name was available, tight end, catches passes occasionally for the Bills, we just trade him to Atlanta. Why am I blaming? Oh, Lee Smith. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, Lost we try it for we, a second. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh god, we trade him to Atlanta. Why? Why am I forgetting this guy's name? <laughs> but got a seventh maybe, back. Yeah, maybe maybe something like that is is up for the board. Maybe we got a signing in the future. Who knows? Let's see. Who knows? Moving on. This is a little far fetched, but our executive producer wants us to talk about it, and it does affect the Bills in Week One at least. And Melvin Ingram is no longer a free agent. He signed a one-year deal with the Steelers. And we play him week one in a very stout defensive front for the Steelers. So it's like, uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't really know how I feel about this. Can you guys help me here? Yeah, for me, the Steelers lose Bud Dupree, right? And, mm-hmm. you know, they did have a good defense last year. Um, but I kind of slot Ingram in as I'll put him at Bud Dupree's production level. Uh, he's a little bit older. Mm-hmm. He was a very good defensive end, obviously battled some injuries. Um, Pittsburgh still doesn't scare me. I don't know what their offense is going to look like. Um, I would rather play them without Melvin Ingram. Um, but I will say that the contract he got is – something that I would have been very interested in as a Bills fan. Um, when we got Mario Addison aging up there and not really producing, he signed one year, $4 million. Ooh. I wouldn't have been mad at that if we could have worked something out, but obviously we went younger. Yeah, I am I agree, Justin. I, I like their defense, even if they did lose Bud Dupree. They lost Steven Nelson too, but I mean, Ben Roethlisberger thinks he – did the world a favor by coming back at a reduced salary. And I, I don't know. I, I think they would have been better off moving on from him. He just the last half of last year. It was like Peyton, remind me of Peyton Manning when he just fell off a cliff. And uh, that's oh, kind of kind of sad to see. Yeah. Yeah. They have tons of good uh, wide receivers over there. They have a pretty questionable offensive line. And, but, uh, you know, it doesn't matter how good the defense is if you can't really score any points. We've been through that. We've had terrible offenses mm-hmm. and good defense for a long time. So I'm not super worried about that. Right, right. Anyways, I think that's going to wrap it up for the Bills-related news, unless I'm missing something, guys. Am I? I think that's about no, it. I don't think so. I don't so. think so either. All right, Justin, break out the belt because we – are going to have our trivia episode. The Challenger, in this corner, with the black screen, Vince Taylor, the host of the Buffalo on the Brain episode, and in this corner, with the belt, with the mean mugging face, (laughs) we got Justin Goddard with the defending championship of the trivia episode. I unfortunately lost to it, so I am going to be the moderator. So just like last time, uh, Jacob, our executive producer... And I have come up with some questions that you and Justin are going to try to answer. You each have a buzzer, and the first person to hit said buzzer will have the first crack at answering the question correctly. If you answer the question correctly, you get a point. If you answer the question incorrectly, then the opponent gets a chance to steal that point away from you. In the event that neither of you can get, get it right, after like three guesses, no points are going to be awarded. There's also three levels to this. We're going to, like, in terms of easy, medium, hard questions. As we go up in difficulty, each question is worth more. Easy, one point. Medium, two. Hard, three. Make sense? I got you. Lastly, Justin, if you are to lose this game, Vince, I, I I was informed to tell you that Justin will ship the belt to you, but you have to pay for it. (laughs) So... (laughs) He's willing to give it to you, but at a nominal fee. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'll, e- I'll even pay the shipping. Fair is fair. <laughs> Let's not get oh. ahead of ourselves. I got to win the thing first. I'm, I'm actually a feeling a little bit. Uh, I'm having a little bit of anxiety here. Like I said, I think I overextended it. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I'm having fun, so that's all that matters. Right, right. Well, I will tell you this. The key is to have your clicker over the buzzer. Get ready Don't to teach click him no about the hover. 
<laughs> well, I gotta teach him about that. I already, I can see that you're already over. Oh, over I'm the already mouse over the hover. Ready. So Vince, yeah, get, w- get 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 your clicker over the mouse buzzer to have a fair chance, and <laughs> <laughs> we'll, I, we'll get started I will, here. I will say that um, I wasn't expecting a heavy, such a heavy hitter as the first challenger, the official challenger to the belt. Um, so I had to call up my guy Michael Jordan. Got a little something special made up for tonight's <laughs> episode. Oh my! Justin's God. secret stuff right there. Jeez, what's in there, Jenny Coles? Uh, it's mostly fight milk. Okay. All right. <laughs> fight milk and All bourbon. Right. It's Oof. just water. <laughs> right. Okay. You guys ready for tier one? The easy questions? Bring it. Let's do this. Okay. We're gonna here here comes the underhand ball right here. Who is the Buffalo Bills winningest head coach of all time? That's Vince. Marv Levy. Ding, 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 ding. We got a point on the board. Justin, first first thing of defeat. How's it feel? Ah, uh, adversity makes us stronger. I'm not pulling He's got for a quick, Vince. He knew who it was. He's got a quick trigger he finger. To that. Yeah, I just I, beat him to it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the trigger finger matters, though. I'm not pulling for Vince, but I did lose the first trivia episode. So Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready for uh, question two? Go. Who is the Buffalo Bills' all-time scoring leader? Ooh, Vince. Quick trigger. Steve Christie. No, that's not what I wanted to say. But I'll go with it. You. Ha- this is kind of like, um, would you, uh, like, who wants to be a millionaire? Final answer. Yeah. So you you Steve, Steve Christie, Christie final yeah. answer. Ding 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 ding. Oh okay. You got it correct. I, who well, are you? Who are you in the? What I about? wanted to say was Scott Norwood, but what came out of my mouth was Steve Christie. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I was going Scott Norwood and then Steve Christie. So, touche. Wow, I you gotta know, get faster. I, I. Guys, I I just want to say that you your trivia strengths are much stronger than mine, um, specifically with the Bills. I I did not know the answer to this, truly, and I don't know if that's indicative of my fandomonian as as a fan, but I I swear I am a Bills fan. Maybe not as much as you guys are now. Now that I'm watching you guys. Hey hey you. hey man! <laughs> Nobody's questioning your Bills fandom here. You're part of the mafia. Hey. You're just. You're hey, young gotta, in the I, game. I'm questioning myself. I, I guess. I guess the yeah. We we did a old versus young trivia kind of theme last time, and the elders took took care of me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready for question three? Yep. How many consecutive years did Bills running back Thurman Thomas lead the NFL in total yards from scrimmage? That is Vince again. Oh, no, it's not. Mine's still up from last time. I apologize. I w- Justin's hands oh. up, so I would give that one to Justin. All right, Justin. I was he's, just trying to get learning. in first so I could get a guess in, in this game. I'm going to say four. That is correct. Justin, on the board. Right now, Justin won, Vince two. Vince, Better luck than good. I, I appreciate the honesty. I didn't know the answer to that one. What a gentleman. Yeah. I was going to guess two. But... Oh. It's competitive, but it's still a gentleman's game. You were going to guess two? Yeah, I didn't know the answer to that. I knew he, when he won his MVP, and I thought maybe one other year consecutively. But I didn't know the answer. I, When I kind of looked this up, I was I guessed three. Justin, did you actually know that, or did you just like throw it shot out? Shot in the dark, baby. Uh, shot in the dark. <laughs> I'm really concerned with... Uh, what you have coming up for us if this is in the easy bracket. I'll put it like this. The hard questions that Jake, our executive producer, came up with, I pushed them down to the medium, and I, I created new hard ones. Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> well, may, they might not be that hard, to be honest. <laughs> I was like, you know what? 9 o'clock on a Monday. Let's look dumb. Nailed it. Hey, you guys are good. You guys are good. And besides, this episode's dropping on Thursday. So, I'm always... Perfect. 
Yeah, but yeah, towards the end of the week. by people that can be like, oh yeah, I remember that game back in 2004. It was I'm like I don't remember. Like I can barely remember last season now. <laughs> Specific. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah, I can't remember what I had for lunch last week, let alone a game that happened close to 10 years ago. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not going to remember it. <laughs> oh, man. All right, question number four. Why did Bills running back Thurman Thomas miss the Bills' first two offensive plays of Super Bowl? Oh, we already have a hand up. I don't even need to finish the question. It is Vince Taylor of the Buffalo on the Brain podcast. I really thought I got that. Lost his helmet. Yes. Yes, it is. That is the correct answer. He couldn't find it. Which I remember watching the Four Falls of Buffalo 30 for 30 ESPN special, and they used that as an analogy for how the team basically felt and played during that Super Bowl, right? Like, they just they just didn't have their heads in the game, apparently. Apparently, Thurman would you was agree with really, that? like, sensitive about it. Like, people, like, family members and teammates would, like, kind of jokingly tease him about it. He would get super pissed off. Mm-hmm. I probably would be, too. But really? he got over it eventually. Right, right. He's a Hall of, Fl- he's a Hall of Fame uh, running back, and he's got a, a lot of money. I think he, he'll get over a helmet joke. <laughs> Oh man, did any of you guys actually watch that Super Bowl? I mean, I I know I didn't because I was, was super super. Tired, yeah, I like, I, I watched all four of them. <laughs> so yeah, I, I remember that. Which I, out of the four Super Bowls do you think hurt the most, and why? Uh, well, the the kick obviously was a tough one. It's one that, that we probably could have won, and, and it wasn't all on Norwood. There was some other blame in that game too, but not that I think we really realistically should have won, but I think it was the second one against Dallas. We were leaning at halftime. I think we might 13 13-10 or something. We were still getting blown out of that game, but mm-hmm. at least we were winning at halftime. Right, and then the Cowboys just came out and changed, changed yeah. tunes, huh? It might have been the first one. I don't remember which one it was, but I think it was the second one. What about you, Justin? You were you were gonna say something. Oh, I I was just saying I I didn't watch them as a cognizant person the first time. I was you know one two three four, but I I've watched mm-hmm. them all in my adult life, and even knowing everything that's about to happen, it still hurts. <laughs> I can't imagine watching that. It's like an emotionally invested person. You know, I think the Super Bowl was the reason, real big reason why I personally became a fan. And I would go over to my friend's house and I didn't really understand the concept behind the Super Bowl. I I didn't understand football in general. But what I did understand was that my dad's friend made a lot of food. And I was like, wow, this is like Thanksgiving, but, you know not in november this is great (laughs) and ever since then i was like oh well why is everyone watching this thing on tv i guess i'm gonna watch it and first of all was bears and colts when uh peyton got his first ring that was the first one i actually paid attention to it was a good one anyways enough of my childhood reminiscence let's go on to the last question the easy category what was bill's linebacker daryl talley's nickname That looked like Justin. Biscuit. Eh, sorry. Oh, I got the wrong one. <laughs> Vince. No. Vince. Spider-Man. Go ahead. Spider-Man. Let him know. It is. He's your friendly neighborhood linebacker. Oof. Justin. I was so happy I got myself in. <laughs> yeah, you, you clicked real quick. You hate to I see it. it. Oh, That's my God. That's unforced error. That's okay. Error. Yeah, oof! I did it to myself. Hey, that's okay, guys. Well, right. we're gonna go second into half a player. break, but just to yeah, you come alive in the second half. We're gonna go into a yeah. break, but just to recap the scores real quick. Vince has four. Justin, you have one. You better just just take a shower in that secret <laughs> stuff. I need more He's secret stuff. Anyways, up. He's just getting right. warmed up. Right, right. 
All right, we're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back. Welcome back, everyone. We're going to wrap up our trivia night by doing the medium and hard questions. Uh, again, Vince has four points. Justin, you have one. Let's kick things off with the medium section. Each of these questions are worth two points each. Okay. Which Bills player has the least total passing yards starting since 2013? Justin. Nate Peterman. Good. Uh, Ooh, okay. <laughs> All right, Vince. Lower than Nate Peterman. They must Peterman. have been counting Peterman's yards going to the other team. Can I guess a Jeff Tool? Ding, 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 ding. Oh, my God. Vince is on fire That is a right complete now. shot in the dark. I did not know the answer to that. Well, you know, I this this was originally a hard question, but I pushed it down to medium to give you a sense of what's to come. But I, I actually knew this answer when I read the question that um, Justin presented me. So for what it's worth, I think you did a great job. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is this is a personal question. This is question less fun when you're not getting the questions right. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Dude, how do you think I felt about the first episode? I was getting berated by you. I, like, I, I yeah, was that gonna, was a blast. I know. I was going to slam my laptop shut. <laughs> All right, here we go. Second question in the medium era. How much will a beer run you at the Ralph? Oh come on! I live in Indiana. Oh. <laughs> you get <laughs> and I don't Ooh, drink. Come on. I live in Indiana and I don't drink. <laughs> oh no! I I had no idea. I kind of <laughs> kind of put you out there. But Justin, why why don't you this this is Justin's chance. Justin, what do you what do you got for me? It's been a while. I'm gonna say sixteen doll hairs. Justin, you are incorrect. Vince. You got a chance at redemption. Eight seventy-five. Justin, you also have a chance to come back. <laughs> it, it was like sixteen last time. Time I was there. I'm trying to figure out how long ago that was. Well, mm, I'll, I'm talking. I'll like say seventeen bottom, bucks. Bottom of the barrel, like Bud Light, and this is according to the Google. Uh, search engine so not saying do that but i'm saying you know is so 17 your answer so 14 dollars both of those are wrong 14 vince <laughs> justin or vince you have your second <laughs> stab I, down two for him. I can say 1401 <laughs> no i'll say 15 <laughs> 15 incorrect justin Twelve bucks. That seems low. Incorrect, Vince. Last chance. <laughs> um, seventeen twenty-five. Oh my god! No, it is not, <laughs> <laughs> guys. A beer at the Ralph will will run you eleven dollars, and we're talking Bud Light. Not not a promising. Are, are we talking twelve ounce can? This is per Google, and I have never seen a 12-ounce standard drink poured yeah. at the Ralph. It's always a double or a tall draft. So as somewhere that's got to be like uh, 16 tall boy to like a 24-ounce can. Yeah, well, I got to find that $11 yeah, concession stand. Right, right. Well, the last time I was there was two years ago. And, of course, I don't drink, so we drink mm -hmm. Pepsis. I think it was it was probably 7 bucks for a Pepsi. I don't remember, but... Oh my god. That's still crack braces. Yeah. <laughs> what game were you at? Uh Patriots. It was week four, two thousand nineteen. Oh, that was a good game. Yeah. Where was that when Allen went down? It, it, um, yep. That was the, the game. Russian? Oh. Mm. You know, my girlfriend at the time was at that game too. 
and I, I was very jealous because I, I wanted to go, but I wasn't invited to the bridal party for whatever reason. I remember I, I was in uh, I was in Cedar Point for that game. I was <laughs> I was trying to stream the game on my phone. Every chance I got, we were just waiting in lines. I was kind of like hoping for longer lines so I could watch more of the game. Oh, that's when I got quote unquote fired. Yeah. yeah. That was that trip. Yeah, at my side gig, and then literally I didn't get fired. <laughs> well, that's good. Uh, yeah. I saved you from vacation. Yeah, Just, Justin was a manager at the Rochester's Finest Italian at the moment, and I, I I couldn't go in because I had worked my legs out a little too hard, and my legs kept cramping, cramping which sounds a little far-fetched, but I, I'm not a liar when it comes to stuff like that, and I never call in. So when I called the owner and I told him, he was like, that is the worst lie I've ever heard. And I was like, well, I'm promised, I promise you I am having trouble walking to the bathroom. I am not going to be walking around serving people at this time. And I'm not serving people $11 drinks because that's ridiculous. Egregious. <laughs> yeah, moving on. Who was the last Buffalo Bill player or coach elected into the NFL Hall of Fame? <gasps> I know the answer to this, but I'm having trouble searching my memory banks. Vince. Is it the heartbeat? Thurman Thomas. No, that's not right. Ingr incorrect. Justin. Bruce. Big no. Vince. Andre All right, then Reed. Vince is right, because he... Vince, incorrect. Really? I am oh, sorry. Oh, man, okay. Yes. Let, do you want me to read the question one more time? I don't think it's going to help, but yeah. Who was the last Buffalo Bill player, coach, or any, any entity of uh, the organization who was last elected into the NFL Hall of Fame? It's to Justin, I believe, actually. I don't know why I'm using that. Yeah. Is it Ralph Wilson? No. Vince? You, you see, you threw the Marv. entity in there. No. Can't be Marv. I can, I can give you guys a hint after Justin's last stab. I would like the hint beforehand. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's just not how it works. I am unbiased. Uh. Last Buffalo Bills Hall of Famer. Daryl Taley. No. This is the hint. Class of 2015. That doesn't help me. Does that help you, Vince? No, but I feel like once you tell me, you're like, well, yeah, but I don't know. I, I have to pass. I don't even have a guess. Right, right. All right. You just, do either of you want to give one more guess before I give give away the answer? No, I'd rather not be wrong again. <laughs> I'm going to keep my dignity intact. <laughs> <laughs> I've only gotten, like, one back-to-back, -back, three three strikeouts. <laughs> All right, here here we go. It is Bill Pullian. Okay. Bill mm. Pullian. General manager. Yeah. Okay. That one wasn't going to be on my radar for a while. Yeah. I might have got there if I got, like, ten guesses. I probably would have got I there. I thought you had it right <laughs> off the bat because you were like, I know this. Each guess, though. Oof. It's it's all about confidence and bravado. And right now, Justin, you need a little bit of that because the score check, again, Vince 6, you won. Each of these questions are 2. Okay? Oh, I missed the Spider-Man one. What an idiot. What? I should have 3. Oh, it's all good. It's all good. Here we go. Well, actually, the... Daryl Talley one was the last one in the easy category, so that would have only gotten you one point. Whatever, give me three. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so since uh, 2011, which Buffalo Bills head coach has had the worst point differential? That is Vince. Rex Ryan. No, it is not. Justin. 2011. Since 2011. Is 
See, when the years get tossed in there, I got to start working backwards and thinking about who was the coach and whatnot. That's hard He's for got me. It. He'll get this one. Focus. I know who I want to say, but I don't know if the time frame even matches up. You got this, man. I believe in you. Chan Gailey. No. No. No, it is not. Really? It is not. Vince was even clapping. Give me the points. Let's go. I, <laughs> Next I, question. No pity points. Hmm. Man, I'm. Um, who else was head coach of the Bills? Chan? Uh, it's not Doug. Andrew, blink twice if it was your boy. If it was my boy. That doesn't help. <laughs> I know I think I know what you're referencing, but I'm not I'm not I'm unbiased. So I I guess I'm gonna say Doug, but it doesn't feel right. It is not Doug. It is not Doug. Greg Williams. Greg Greg Williams. I don't believe was a head coach. that's the wrong time frame, right? Yeah. Okay. So I, I'm gonna I'm gonna say no. Who else that. do we even have in that time frame? That's what I'm struggling with. Since 2011. All right, Vince. Last last chance, you. Great show. <laughs> Never actually watched it. <laughs> oh, it's good. Uh, I, I, I mean, who am I forgetting? It's not McDermott. Who am I forgetting? So it, it went Chan, Doug, Rex, McDermott. Who who am I missing? So I know Chan was the coach in 2011. Was that? I mean, McDermott, I guess, but that's not right. Is that your final answer? Yeah. It is McDermott. Sean McDermott. Negative 105 point differential. Impossible. Hey, I don't, I don't, I don't come up with these statistics. I just get them. This is, this is factual. Negative 105, probably from that, uh, uh, you know, taking the medicine season, if you got to ask me. 80% of that is that first loss to the Ravens. Oh, I, I, I think that was like, Watching that season, watching that first game, I thought to myself, like, wow, that action, this, this season is going to be painful. And I was correct. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I remember you know how many times. Sorry, go ahead, Justin. I, I just remember being so hyped for the season to start. And like, uh, I went to a, a bar and I was just drinking coffee and the people I was with left at halftime and they were like, you coming? And I was like, no, the game's on. And it was, it was halftime. It was like, I don't know, a lot to three. Mm -hmm. And I just remember sitting there watching the rest of the game, just like drinking coffee by myself in misery. <laughs> it was like 47 to 10 by the end of it. That was so bad. Yeah. But Hey, we got to see Josh Allen get his first start. Well, not yeah. his first start, but like his first action. You were gonna say something, Vince? I I just wanna say like I had that feeling so many times during the drought because you know, I you'd feel like, well, I don't think we're that good, but then the season gets closer and you start wanting to believe, so you talk yourself into it. Mm -hmm. Maybe we got something here. And then usually by like halftime of week one, you're like, no, we don't. No. But <laughs> Deontay yeah, Thompson's that not that guy. He was, yeah. he was that guy for that season for me. I had hope in him, I guess. <laughs> it it didn't span out. I mean, work out, obviously. Anyways, we're going to move on to the last question in the medium section. Okay? Can I get a score check? Do I still have one? One to eight. One to eight. Oh, Jesus. 18. Vince, we're not friends anymore. 18. Peyton Manning. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who was the first head coach to lead the Bills to a league championship? That is Justin. Marv Levy. Incorrect. Uh, who is Lou Saban? You are correct. 
Oh, he said who is before the answer. You knew that was correct <laughs> Ooh, before you said oh, anything. Yeah, yeah. So the yeah, Bills. I was being a jerk. Yeah. I love Jeopardy, <laughs> so I, I, I appreciate that a lot. Um, the Bills won two consecutive American Football League titles in 1964 and 1965 with the quarterback Jack Kemp and coach Lou Saban. I didn't know you knew that. Were you were you around then? I don't I don't I don't no. have I don't know anything about your demographic, so I'm just I'm just hey, teasing hey, you. I'm not that old. I'm, I'm just... in my forties, but <laughs> <laughs> well Ah, so so we do have the battle of the ages again here, and we're showing that the older you are, the better you are at Bill's trivia, apparently. Right, apparently. So I had Andrew by a few years, Vince has me by a few years. Shoot. Well, we're going into the hard section and Justin you need at least three of these to tie. You need, How many are there? There are five. You need three right. of these to tie, and you need four to force a tiebreaker. So, time to buck up. Really, Caps? <laughs> time to buck up. <laughs> Let's go. Here are the hard questions. They are three points each, and here's the first one. In the 2020 draft, the Bills didn't have a first-round pick. How many drafts in total have the Bills not had a first round pick? Oof. In history? <laughs> in sent going back as far back to nineteen sixty six. Justin, you have your hand up and your hat backwards and you don't look really confident. What what do you got for me? Do I look good? <laughs> you look you look like you belong here. I I feel strangely confident in this answer, like I heard it somewhere, but it, it could be completely made up in my head. I think it's two. And you are wrong. <laughs> okay. See, strangely confident. But I, I I was really hyped for you. I was like, he he knows it. He knows it. <laughs> All right, Vince, what do you got? I'm going to say six. That's right. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> That is right. I want to. I want to take credit and act like I knew the answer the whole time. Oh but man, nah, that's shot in the dark. That is so funny. All right, Justin, you need the next five or four questions in order to force the tiebreaker. Let's go. <laughs> but this is where legends are made. Just to give some context <laughs> to it, in '88, this Frank Reich right here. Right. This is your Frank Reich moment. Yeah. So in, this is about to look real good in Vince's house. Right, right. <laughs> so, Vince, let me just show you. It's got two beer holsters. You can put your Pepsis in there. Mm. Right there. It's a very holsters. nice model. But yeah, so six drafts going back where they didn't have first round picks. 88, 89, 98, 2005, 2015, and 2020. So if, I mean, I, I can go as far back as... You know, Stefan Diggs, Sammy Watkins, and I don't know what we did in 2005, but probably didn't work out. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm fascinated. That. The people that can, like, name all the first-round picks, like, going backwards, I'm like, yeah, I remember that guy. I don't know what year he was picked. He, yeah, I know he's a first-round pick, but maybe he was picked in 13, 14, 50. I don't know. But, right. yeah, I, I, I have no memory for that kind of thing. All right, here comes the... Second hard question. There's a hint. I just to got this. a buzz in first. <laughs> yeah. There, there's a hint to this question. I'm just gonna give the hint because without it, I think it's almost an impossible question to ask at this point. Without it. So, what is the Buffalo Bills' all-time playoff record? And here's the hint. There's 34 total games, so the record's got to add up to 34. Vince, he's on the board. 20 and 14. Incorrect. Justin. You better get that FedEx label ready. Warm up that printer. Eat my boogers. <laughs> adds up to the... I'm just trying to make sure whatever my guess is adds up to 34. You're good, you're good. Ah... 23 and 11. No. Vince. Incorrect. Vince. (laughs) 
I'm going to say, let's go 14 and 20. We're getting more in the general area. I will give you guys that. Justin, it is you. Uh, is this my third guess? This is your second. Okay. 15 and 19. No. Vince. Sixteen and eighteen. That is correct. Sixteen God. and eighteen. Oh, that is that is a heartbreaker. But maybe we'll have a bonus question at the end. I we'll... talked myself out of that number two. Oh, you you could have had. It I all. totally knew it the whole time. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> He's just toying he was, with his prey. <laughs> he was giving me a chance. Right, right. Well, hopefully you can redeem yourself here because right now it's sixteen to one. So, big yikes. Yeah. Well, I didn't get whitewashed, so... Yeah, you were on the board for something. Where I come from, if you're held scoreless, you have to, like, do a naked lap, Mm -hmm. and I don't have to do that tonight, so that's good. That's true. All right. The Bills have only double-dipped their first-round draft pick at one particular school in back-to-back drafts. What school is that? Can I ask for a clarification on that? Are you meaning like consecutive first round picks from the same school or mm-hmm. an entire draft from the same school? No, it's definitely not the latter. It's uh, consecutive first round picks. Hmm. That'd be crazy if you just drafted. You're like, you know what? Every every player from Indiana, come Come on down to one Bills drive. <laughs> well, well, I mean like a, a fourth from Indiana and then, you know, the next year, like a fifth from Indiana, that'd be double dipping, oh, right? Oh, I, I, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, no, that's that's not where we're at. Well, good question. I mean, I don't know, so I'm going to just go ahead and buzz in. All right, Vince. What Miami. you got? No, it is not Miami, not the U. Justin. Uh, Florida State. It is not Florida State. I will tell you this. It's not on the East Coast. Ah, it's it's to me? Yes. USC. I might have screwed you there, Justin. Yes, it is USC. No, it is it's USC. US, it was uh, OJ Simpson, and then there was uh, the guy that drove him to the Bronco that came yes. in the next year. Yeah, Al Callens. Yes, you are, you are absolutely correct. To be fair, that wasn't – that was maybe like my third next guess. So My last hint was going to be Tropicana. <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't have helped me. Orange juice? OJ? Juice? Oh, okay. Okay, my my mind's in a different spot, Don. I'm down like nineteen to one on my own damn show. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're okay. You're okay. Here is the fourth out of the fifth hard questions. What was the first team the Bills ever played against in the 1960 season, aka their first NFL season? That is went into the depths for these questions. Patriots. Can I get a clarification on the the city? Boston. That is correct. That is correct. Boston Patriots. And do you know if we won or lost that game? Oh, uh, I'm going to say lose. They were kind of our mini nemesis for a while there in the beginning. Right, right. Well, they're always our nemesis. Well, now they're like our big nemesis, but back then they were still giving us fits. Right, right. We actually won that game, twenty-eight oh, to fourteen. Yes, yes. Okay. They had a they had a buy in their first week in their season, I guess. So worked out. That's a terrible buy. Yeah, that's a terrible like, buy week. Just like, hey, you know, don't don't start the season. Everyone else will, and uh, the Bills will play you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Justin, you, you got to get one of these last hard ones. All I'm right, trying, man. This one Jake came up with. I pretty much came up with all the hard ones except for this one. 
So this one might be a little easier. Which Bills player has the second least total passing yards of all time? There's so many names. I think I have a good guess, but I'm going to let him go first. No, if you got a guess, go. Go for the go for the kill shot, he says. Yeah, kill shot me. Finish him. Dennis Vince. Shaw. No. <laughs> but that is a good guess. He was close. Like second least passing yards of all time? Second least total passing yards of all time. So like are we factoring like is this only quarterbacks or is this like a wide receiver throws a touchdown pass? Bills player in general. So it could be a wide receiver. It could be a kicker. It could be, you oh, know, boy. the water boy. <laughs> I don't even know how to guess <laughs> this one. Uh, I mean, because it could be John Brown, right? Yeah, right. And I will say this. It is not a quarterback. That didn't help me because the player I was thinking about doesn't really have a uh, position designation. <laughs> Not a quarterback. And he, and I'll give you the position. He was a running back. Emphasis was. Yeah, I was going to say you said was. I'm just going to, I'm just going to throw a name out there so I can talk about Fred Jackson on this show. It is not Fred Jackson. Throw for more yards, Fred. God. All right, Vince. Bury I'm, him. I mean, I don't have any good guesses. I'm trying to think of maybe a, like a halfback option player or something, but I mean... Um... And I think you have to have like a certain amount of attempts to be in this category as well. So like with John Brown, I don't think he counts because it was only a, a one pass kind of thing, you know? Okay. I mean, OJ Simpson. That is correct. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> Justin, I'm so sorry. I feel terrible. <laughs> it's okay, man. I'd oh say better lucky God. than good, but you got you got more of them off of actually knowing than your guesses. No, no, no. I got the guesses a lot hurt. of points off guesses. I got a lot of points off guesses. Oh, That's man. Right. This, this, is, this is crazy. Yeah, so OJ Simpson. Now, are we, are we like concrete on whether or not we want to air this episode or is that debatable still? <laughs> it <I'm> is <laughs> non-debatable. So it's going out there. All it's right. definitely going out there. And, you know, just to give some context, yeah. Just, I want my money back, Michael. <laughs> yeah, get rid of that. Get rid of that stuff. It's it's not help, helping, uh, uh, you know, the Suns right now, so it's definitely not helping you. <laughs> Anyways, so O.J. Simpson, 110 passing yards, the least passing yards of all time, Gail Gilbert. How many attempts did he have? 93. I don't know offhand. Let me check. Let's see, uh, O.J. Simpson passing attempts. Oh, my God. What did people do to find this answer before the Internet existed? Just like scrolling old newspaper clippings? Sports almanacs. That's right, right. Um, well, while he looks that up, Vince, you now have the torch of the trivia. How's that feel? Yeah, um... Thank you, you for feel? allowing me to be on your show. Justice was, uh, I mean, Justin, sorry, was a, <laughs> a, a fantastic competitor. And I think I got very lucky. I'm very, very lucky to get a few of those answers. And I think a lot of the, that I did get, he knew the answer to. I just beat him to it. So uh, I'm sure that if someday we had a rematch, I mean, I, I have no doubt that Justin would come out swinging and, and maybe take me down. So um oh i have it it was fun it's got it this all right this can be this can be somewhat of a tiebreaker this this answer for a number of attempts to get you to 111 yards or what was that 111 right 
110 passing yards. This, if you get this right, Justin, it will catapult you up to 25 points. <laughs> okay. So it's worth 24 points. You get all the marbles. You get three guesses. Ten. No. Nine. You're going in the wrong direction. <laughs> if Vince gets it right, does he double his points and make it look way worse? Essentially. Because his guesses have been amazing. So I get one more, and then if Vince gets it, he doubles his points. Yes. Ah, <sighs> Attempts. 18. No. Vince, do you have a guess? 25. That is not correct. It is actually 16. <laughs> but, I, hey, you, you guys did great. And we did, you know, we have this bonus question out here. Why not? Why not, Justin? Redeem yourself here. This is a Justin-only yeah. question. This is, this is where the kids learn about sportsmanship. And, and on a high note here. He gets 10 points if he gets it yes, right. Yes, yes. He needs 24. To, you know, give, him, give him 23 just to make him be short from a tiebreaker i just want two goddamn. all right well this is this is a bonus question and jake said this was worth three how many william and mary alumni have the buffalo bills hired to be their head coaches two can you name the two uh that would be sean mcdermott and marv levy that is correct. Justin, nice. you have ended on a high note, buddy. I did something. You you know, you're still down by 22 points, but that is a great way to end this show. Oh, my God. That that was that was impressive, Justin. I, I'm very proud of you. They call those moral victories. Moral victories, but unfortunately, you have a financial obligation to send that belt to Vince Taylor of the Buffalo on the Brain podcast. Thank you for being on the show, Vince. I hope you had a great time. Um, anyways, that's going to do it up for this week's episode. But next week, we're going to do our word association episode with a very, very special guest. You're not going to want to miss it out. Uh, you're not going to want to miss it, period. But go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, and review our podcast. It would be greatly appreciated. And again, go ahead and check out the Built in Buffalo podcast uh, podcasting network that's where you can find vince taylor and all of our other amazing colleagues works uh, again it's great stuff and find their social media podcasting platforms and youtube links will be in the descriptions so we're always looking for great people to be on the show and it, it the, tonight's episode was just a just a blast guys and i i hope you guys had fun too i had a great time <laughs> i, I, I think he means time. that no, I had I had fun. <laughs> I, I always like talking sports with you, Vince. Um, while we're wrapping up, if you want to give people a little shout out on where they can find you, anything you're working on coming up, any anything like that. Yeah, my show is Buffalo on the Brain. It is right here on the Built in Buffalo Network. You can find me on Mondays. Um, but you're already listening to these guys, so why would you want to come and listen to me? Just listen to the Wandering Buffalo. These guys are great. Oh. Vince, you're too not you're too kind. But we, we want people to listen to, to you too. So <laughs> we ah that that was very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Justin, where Thank can you. the people find you? You can find me on social medias at jgods twenty two. And you can always find me moderating the next challenger of the show. So we'll have to set that up somehow. If a challenger comes forth, Vince, I'll have to set that up and or maybe I'll try to take you for take take down the belt from you. Maybe try to steal it back before Justin has to ship it. <laughs> uh, I'll probably lose, but you never know. Anyways, that's going to wrap it up for this episode, and you can find me on social media by searching 2 Changs. But uh, other than that, go Bills, right? Go Bills. Go Bills. <laughs>